So I'm now going to do a low, high, low drill, but we're going to work it off a redondo type action where we follow through off the first one, stick on the second. So if Tom just comes here and teaches statue poses, on the low, high, low, here's what it looks like. I hit him or I miss him, and I strike him again. That's the low. And then I'll follow through. This is my high. I miss it or I strike him and follow through, and I'll stick him harder on the second one. Now it kind of pulls out, I bounce it off there, and I do one more low, missing or striking and following through, and then I do the same thing on the opposite. Everything you do with the right lead, you do with the left lead. So it's the uh, high, low, high drill. I hit high, follow through, hit it again. Low line, hit it, hit it again. Backhand high line, hit it again. If I were to do, that's a high, low, high. If I do low, high, low, low and follow through, high and follow through, low and follow through. So we're just gonna kind of mix them together. We'll show you the high, low, high, back to back with the low, high, low. So high, low, high first, so high, low, high, same hand now, low, high, low. Low, high, low. Then the opposite side, let's do high, low, high first. High, then low, then high again. Okay, so that's high, low, high, now low, high, low, low, then high, then back low. When you're fighting, it's not gonna happen in that order, but you're gonna practice it in different positions. And, and as we add more of that grabbing action, we're gonna need to kind of slow it down. So if I hear it just hit once and follow through, I'm not gonna to try to grab this, this weapon. If I hear it hit and there's that vibration, that means I know I slowed it down. So even if I don't realize it happened, he's ha he has a slower reaction. Maybe it just sticks now, he's just muscling it back and forth that's a great time for me to use my secondary hand to grab it. If you're doing two sticks, which you'll still practice, then you're not gonna have that option until you let go of one hand for the strip and cinch, then you gotta use your elbows more. Practice that.